Do you know why your calf muscle is so much stronger than your bicep? Yes, the muscle's a little bigger, but it's a different lever system. Check it, this one out. In a bicep curl, this is your elbow. Point elbow, elbow. Bone, elbow. This is where the muscle connects in the forearm. Connects right here. There. And that's where the hand is. That's the hand. And this is your bicep muscle. Now watch how this operates. And how, watch how much force I'm applying. Down. Nothing's breaking. Good. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get it. There we go. Okay. We bicep curl up. And we're done with this bicep curl. <laughs> Let's move over to the calf. Isn't this cool? Wait, I'm supposed to be ta doing this while I'm talking to you. Let's do the calf. Calf! Same amount of force. But here's what we're looking at. This is your heel bone. Okay? Heel bone. This is your calf muscle. And this is the bottom. The whole thing's your foot. And this is how the calf lifts. Whoa. See how much easier that is? Oh. Same amount of weight lifting up. It's not that the calf muscle is so much stronger, it's that the muscle attaches to a different lever system that's more efficient. Now, most of your body has the type of the wimpy little lever systems Why like your bicep. That? It has the wimpy one, but it allows your body to be more compact, where this one's a little bit more of a bulky joint. Yeah. People are like, yeah, feet. Well, here it is, most here, efficient. There it is, most efficient. Levers. Science. Science. Physics. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. I don't understand that. Let's cut after <laughs> physics.